time. Where does it go? Do you ever notice that you're losing time throughout the day? You sit down to start your homework and suddenly an hour has gone by and you're still watching YouTube? Time management probably isn't something that you think about a lot. However, even just devoting 10 minutes every couple days to scheduling can help make your life a whole lot easier and help you end up with more free time in the long run. I would advise starting small. This is a photo of my assignment list for Wednesday, January 15th. Ignore the bad handwriting, but notice how every assignment is in order and has an estimated time for completion. How often do you actually lay out your day like this and give it a rigid structure? Probably not that often, but this first step in timing out tasks is crucial to cutting excess out of your schedule. Next, I'm going to ask you all to think for just a couple seconds about how productive you think your typical day is. Whether it's at school or at work, think about how much time you spend simply doing nothing throughout that day, whether it's zoning out or, or procrastinating, etc. You're probably going to notice that it's a lot more time than you'd like it to be. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that unscheduled time most often leads to unproductiveness, and that's where this entire science of time management comes in to help you. Laying your day out like this, even in your head, is crucial to, to cutting excess out of your schedule and helping you end up with more free time in the long run. In fact, laying out your day like this makes your brain more efficient at achieving the goals that you set them to, and there's a heap of scientific evidence to help prove that. So if I were you, I would make yourself a schedule. It doesn't have to be for your entire day, maybe just your morning or your afternoon. For example, maybe you would arrive home from school at 2.45, uh, make yourself a snack for about 15 minutes, and start your homework for an hour before taking another 15-minute break. This sounds like such a simple thing, and like it wouldn't affect your day that much, but it's going to subconsciously influence how you're doing your tasks and how efficiently you're getting them done. Maybe you actually came home and spent half an hour looking through your phone at memes before actually starting your homework or doing the tasks you had to do that day before realizing how much time had even gone by, leaving you at the end of the day when you're supposed to be going to sleep with stress, exhaustion, and feelings of being overworked. Now, I can't force you to do anything. What I can do is encourage you to take this advice and make something of it. It probably seems like common sense to everyone in this room, but you'd be surprised how many people fail to apply it in their everyday lives, which is why I'm up here giving this talk to begin with. I myself have noticed a huge difference this year in how much I can get done during my school day and doing homework after school by adopting some of these strategies. By using them in your own life, you're going to cut down on the amount of work you, ha you have to do, end up with more free time in the long run, and less stress. And I can't name anybody who wants more of any of those things. Thank you.